What's up everybody, welcome back to another Mole Man episode. Sitka Blacktail, Prince Wales Islands. Let's get it. Where'd he go? Did he just go? I don't know where he went. Here, this trail? Yeah, just rip, start ripping. Here, I'll just follow you. He's doing this in pennies. About third of the way up, and uh, you can see the sun kind of glowing through the trees behind us. That looks like city lights, but that's the sun, because there ain't no dang cities around here. <clears throat> it's just as wet and mucky as I thought it'd be. And the man's doing his tennis shoes. We're making it guys, we're getting there. We halfway yet? Yeah. Halfway baby, let's get it. Got fog down below us, sick. Look at this guys. Delicious blueberries. Mm. That's awesome.
passed up a big deer and now we can't find him but if he pops back out we're shooting him hopefully we can get him in the glass and get some footage of him Where's he at? He just came towards us about 10 yards. He was standing there looking around. At the TV. Now he's walking towards the right slowly. Oh, I was way over. Dang. Is he down in that thicket? Gosh dang it. There's like a rock knob. You know that. Oh, <sighs> well, guys. Missed the first shot. I had my. Is it 5.09 and I dialed to 7.2 and I should have been at 7.1 so the first shot was high. Shouldn't have been as high as it was but man. That sucks. Just woke up from a midday nap. It's been raining for the past hour and a half. And uh, got this. He just walked out of frame but big black bear season doesn't start for another week and it's a draw attack but he's a stud black bear still looking for a buck that we can make a play on but midday soon but it's Alaska As you see behind me, we're completely fogged out or fogged in. So we're gonna make our journey back. An hour and a half down. That's the way she rolls. I don't know if I'm gonna get another chance to hunt this trip. The weather's not very good for the rest of the time of year. So I had my chance. And I missed. And it sucks, but that's the way hunting goes, huh?
You missed. <laughs> And the fog. Freaking hate the fog. Before I end this video, I wanted to give a little more detail to this hunt. We were sitting up there for a good eight to 10 hours in the fog and there was, I didn't think the video showed uh, exactly everything. Uh, just the ups and downs of the fog coming and going. We'd have like five minute periods where we could see across the mountain uh, to the other face that we had been glassing and you'd I mean, spotted doe, and then the fog would roll in for another hour and a half, and then the fog would go away for another five minutes, and the doe was obviously not there where she was bedded before. So it just really sucked that I missed, um, but I wanted to bring this to you guys because we're a real channel, and I want to show you guys everything, and this is just a part of hunting. Uh, I dialed my turret wrong, and I had my elevation wrong on my dope chart. So. Um, it's just a, a mistake that happened and it sucks because it was my only day to hunt um, but that's just hunting sometimes and it just really sucks that the fog rolled in because it was absolutely beautiful for those first I think we had like two and a half three hours of solid glassable stuff so I will definitely be back to Prince of Wales Island and blacktail hunt maybe next year uh, probably next year so I wanted to throw out a huge tip uh, that I learned up on the mountain. I got very lucky and there was a little bit of service up there. Pulled up Onyx and I was able to download um, the offline maps for where I was because as soon as you dropped a certain elevation you lost service and it really helped going through all that fog uh, back to back down to the bottom. So something that I should have done when I had service the problem up there is the only service I had was up on top of that mountain and then I had Wi-Fi back at the lodge uh, but I didn't know exactly where we were hunting so you can do the wider map I think 150 miles uh, radius is what you can do or it's like a square and uh, but if you're ever going into an area that should cover the majority of where you're ever gonna go so I would always do that download your off download your offline maps before you go anywhere and it could really save you in a bind uh, I know it really helped me out and I, thankfully I was able to download um, I think I did the 10 mile radius when I was up there had like a bar and it actually loaded so I was super thankful for that and that's just one tip uh, that I want to give you guys if you don't have Onyx go download it it's worth it if you're ever in the woods it can really save your butt uh, it's not only just to help you on your hunting it helps you come back home so tip of the day i want to give a huge shout out to the lodge at whale pass kevin the owner he's an awesome guy i will leave a link in the description box y'all can go check their lodge out if you want to take your family fishing super family friendly place and they know what they're doing um thankfully i became friends with two of the guys at the lodge pat and william and uh this is the only way really that i got to go deer hunting because they uh took me as friends on their day off uh, from the lodge and we went out and just did what they do on a daily basis on their days off this is what they do they go up and alpine and deer hunt so huge thanks to those guys but like i said lodge at whale pass the lodge at whale pass amazing food amazing everything uh asked for a better trip it was a blast and the next video we're doing a lot more fishing and something really cool that I always watched videos of people doing it. It's something that you can't do here in Texas or anywhere that I'm aware of other than Alaska, and that's snagging. I think you can snag for spoonbills in Texas, Oklahoma, stuff like that, but snagging for salmon is one of the funnest things I've ever done. Uh, it's just something so different from what I've ever done. So y'all stay tuned for the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I didn't get a deer on the ground. It sucks for me, trust me, um, but I wanted to bring this to you guys because I know y'all like um, just 
everything that happens and I want to be real with you guys and and not hide anything so that's what happened I missed and that's uh that's just how it went so y'all stay tuned if you want to support the channel hit that subscribe button or go to my merch site moltman.net shirts hats hoodies spices and moltman bait co baits so I'll catch you in the next video hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and remember eat good